Hey guys, this is uh, Zach here. I'm going to do a postscriptum chapter 3 in-depth discussion of what I have gathered from my historical knowledge based on what they have showcased in the trailer here. So let's take a look. So we got a nice opening shot of C-47s flying in formation. You've got the Eisenhower speech, but one of the things that sticks out to me is this right here, which is the chalk 68 written on the side of the C-47s. Now, I'm going to take it back slightly, just a minute. Now, this squadron code here, L4, this is going to be the squadron that is going to transport the 506 parachute infantry into Normandy for their heading of drops on C. But what's more interesting Welcome is the chalk 68 here signifies that this belongs to the 2nd Battalion. More specifically, this is Harry Welsh's stick, who is a platoon leader and easy company of the 506 parachute infantry regiment. Lieutenant Winter's stick was number seven, who or was number 67, who became more famous with the Braycourt Manor Assault, but based on my knowledge, looks like we are going to be getting to role play is Easy Company 506. Now, as the trailer continues on, you get a good look at the C-47s here and through the inside of the cockpit. We can see the red and the green lights there, but what sells this again as Easy Company 506 is you see the 101st Airborne patch there on the left shoulder. So, things are going well. Flak starts to pop up. Now, based on my research and knowledge, Stick 68, um, which is going to be Welsh's stick, is actually going to land on the eastern side of St. Mary Glees, which we'll get to in a second. Now, we get this great shot of an opening beach assault, and initially, my first thoughts were Omaha Beach until I did some analyzing here. Now, I'm going to pause it here really quickly. The patch on the left-hand side there signifies this is the 4th Infantry Division. So this beach scene is actually Utah Beach where they're landing, and you can actually see a bunker there, which I believe to be the bunker which the current Utah Beach Museum is built into uh, right now. So, great shot here of the landing craft coming ashore. You've got a pack gun being wheeled to the front. And then we pause here with Karen Tan. So we've all seen this famous shot, for those of you that have seen episode 3 of Band of Brothers, when they begin the assault into Karen Tan. You've got the notable cafe here. We know that there's MG-42 gunners in this, but once again, you've got Easy Company right here. You've got, um, looks like, Luz, from those of you that remember the Band of Brothers scene. We can assume that that is winners, more than likely Welsh, since 1st Platoon led the charge, being that Harry Welsh was leading 1st Platoon. Good shot of a Falschermjäger, um, a German paratrooper here. You can notify the yellow collar tabs there as well as the outline of the German paratrooper helmet. So, now we've got the flak guns, and here's where we're starting to come into some serious flak for the C-47s as we're going in. So, we can make the assumption it's St. Mary Glees, but it depends on a few things. Um, I looked at the map and analyzed it, and... From what I've gathered, that could be the backside of St. Marie uh, Glees Church. Easily could also be um, St. Marie Dumont, since that was also part of uh, or near Drop Zone C for the 2nd Battalion of the 101st Airborne. So we'll have to see where it plays out, but I'm initially thinking that that's possibly St. Marie Glees. Got more tanks coming to shore here, and so as the 4th Infantry is catching some hell. And then another shot here, for those of you that missed this, this weapon sticks out. We have an FG-42, which was carried by the German paratroopers and used um, throughout Normandy as an automatic weapon. So as you can see, you've got the 1st Platoon of Easy Company charging down the road into Karen 10 here um, and taking some pretty uh, serious casualties under this immense fire. Now, as we go through here, I'm going to pause it here. We've got some Falschum Jaeger retreating, um, and what I think this is, I think this is possibly the Battle of Bloody Gulch being shown here on the outskirts of Carentan. Um, one of the reasons it leads me to that is you've got this armor that's rolling through, countering against the German armor that was trying to push um, and break through the American paratroopers defending Carentan. So we should possibly see the 17th SS Panzer Grenadier working with the 6th Falschermjäger Regiment. And then lastly, you've got a C-47 going down belonging to the 2nd Battalion. I couldn't get a look at the tail number here, so I couldn't exactly tell what the squadron, um, spe what specific aircraft this is, nor the lettering, but we can assume 
Um, this is possibly a reference to Lieutenant Meehan's stick, which was uh, shot down. Um, well, I wouldn't say shot down. They actually crashed into a hedgerow, but still a reference there possibly. So this is my analyzing of the Chapter 3 of Postscriptum and further breakdown. I hope you guys like it, and just let me know what you think. We're all looking forward to jumping into Normandy. So you guys have a good one. Thanks.